In this video, we're doing a 24 hour road trip around the incredible Welsh island of Anglesey to prove that you don't need a huge amount of time to have an epic road trip. Anglesey is famous for its beaches. Anglesey has so many amazing locations and I'm super excited to share them with you in this video. Be sure to watch to the very end as I've saved the best till last. So sit back, relax and enjoy. This is 24 hours in Anglesey. Yeah, so today we're heading to Anglesey. Now there's a couple of reasons. Reason one, uh, we went to Anglesey a couple of years ago before we had the camper van. We stayed in the travel lodge, did a little road trip there over a weekend and it had potential to be incredible. Now the only thing that let us down really was the weather and it was just the fog. So a couple of the places we went to we couldn't even see because it was that foggy. Um, I know it's Wales and you can't predict the weather but it, yeah it was just not great. So we're going to go back and go to a couple of them places that we kind of missed out on. Uh, second reason, I'm doing some more research for my Welsh uh, road trip book. Third reason, um, there's just a load of beaches, a load of destinations in Anglesey that are just spectacular and I want to go and enjoy them. We've got Jazz, we've got the two dogs again. So yeah, here goes. And then after that we're heading to Aberystwyth. Uh, we're going to have some fun with our friends all around this weekend. That sounds weird. <laughs> sounds, doesn't it? Sounds like swingers or something. We're going to have some fun. <laughs> so yeah, we're going to get on the road. Uh, thanks for joining us on this video again. Really appreciate it if you're a subscriber. That's like, fantastic. If you're not a subscriber, hit the subscribe and turn notifications on. Like the video. Leave me a comment, ask me anything, I will guarantee to respond to you because um, I'm that weird and sad. That doesn't make sense either. But yeah, let's get going. So we're about halfway on our journey up to Anglesey from where we live in Staffordshire. Uh, we just stopped just to get the dog stretched. Get this dog. Always on the road. If you've read my North Coast 500 book, you'll know one of the tips that I always profess is uh, get a good playlist for when you're driving on a road trip. So important. I think it can make or break a journey. Uh, if you've got rubbish music on or you're just sat in silence, I don't know, the journey is just not as fun. Uh, I might even put one of my road trip playlists on Spotify if anybody uses that in the uh, link. I'll do a link below. But uh, yeah, we've got about an hour and 40 left and yeah, I'm gonna grab some food and then see how we go from there. Oh, so after what feels like about five hours, probably not far off that to be honest, um, we've arrived at the South Stack uh, Lighthouse which is up in the northwest of Anglesey, not too far from Holyhead. I think I'm pronouncing it right. These Welsh terms don't get on well with me. Um, as I say, me and Jazz tried to come here a couple of years ago and it was just thick fog, we could barely see it. Spectacular lighthouse and on a day like today when the sun's actually decided to come out, it just looks amazing. I can see the sun's actually going to set behind it. So um, yeah, a real cool spot if you want to come here for sunset. But I'll do my usual routine, uh, go for a little walk, get the drone out and uh, give the dogs a little leg stretcher. But yeah, as a first stop off if you come to Anglesey, up in the northwest, South Stack uh, Lighthouse, spectacular. So we haven't walked all the way down to the lighthouse. Apparently it's closed at the minute. Uh, I'm sure you can probably make it all the way. But I've been told there's 400 or 600 steps, something like that. But uh, yeah, we've just come to this cliff edge, um, just a little bit down from the car park. And look at this view. 
but the sun's slowly going down behind it's just absolutely spectacular such a scenic lighthouse yeah we went to a lot of lighthouses in scotland we obviously went to a couple down in south wales this is as picturesque as any of them really is you know what it reminds me of jazz a miniature version of the one on the Isle of Skye, the Nice Point Lighthouse. So, because we're super prepared, uh, we've basically almost run out of daylight today, which is a shame because the weather's meant to be not so good tomorrow. Anyway, uh, we've come from the South Stack, which was about four and a half miles, about 15 minutes in the car, and we're at Trader Beach. So we're at Trader Beach. Trader, Trader. Somebody Welsh from Anglesey, please correct me in the comments. Um, but yeah, it's, it's strange. I saw this place the other day on uh, a little news article and there was like a nice drone shot from above and uh, the sand looked lovely and the water looked really like greeny blue. And we're here quite late in the day, but it is a real picturesque little beach. Potentially one of the best on Anglesey. And it's strange, Anglesey is obviously a little island, if you didn't know, uh, in the northwest of Wales. And for such a small place, relatively speaking, there are so many good beaches. Uh, this is one of them. Like I say, we're a little bit late in the day to make the most of it, but still gonna have a little look around because it is beautiful. Anglesey is famous for its beaches and this is one of the premier ones. So TripAdvisor says number two I think of beaches in the whole of Anglesey and you can see why. We've got rugged cliffs, rocks on the side and on a night like tonight when the weather is on your side, just beautiful. Look at this place. Is that a good take? <laughs> the only thing I'm concerned about now is that we haven't really made a plan for tonight. So we drove up here, there's no campsite, there's nothing booked. Uh, I haven't really looked too much at the air. I know of a couple of places. So one tip is probably come prepared. That's something I always profess, especially when you do the North Coast 500. But here, we've gone against all my rules. So we could be in a bit of uh, trouble. It didn't make a clink. So instead of sorting out a campsite, we've done what we always seem to do when we come away. We're not pissheads, honestly, like, yeah, we're going to have a quick pint before we then try and sort a campsite. Should probably be the other way around, but we ain't logical like that. So, uh, yeah, cheers everyone, if you're watching. See what happens with the campsite. Right, we're all sorted for tonight. Uh, we rang a couple of places and they were all actually fully booked for tonight. So we were beginning to flap. Um, there isn't many places around here like on Park for Night the app that you can stay for free or at like a local car park or something. Uh, so I went on pitchup.com, managed to find a campsite that's about 10 minutes away from here. And their last entry is at like nine o'clock and it's now quarter to eight. Um, we still need to pop to the shop, so we've dropped them a message anyway and their farmer was turning up a little bit late. So yeah, hopefully, we should be all good. Yeah, we're here in August, uh, six weeks holidays. I did expect the campsites to be busy, to be honest. So just a little tip, try and book something in advance. And remember that most of them cut off at like nine o'clock in terms of letting people in. So yeah, just something to consider. Uh, oh, it's been a mad day. Because we've left late, everything seems to be getting pushed back a bit. And we haven't had a lot of time to play with today. So hopefully tomorrow's better. But yeah, we'll get to the campsite and uh, take it from there. Uh... Right, we're at the campsite. I'm not going to speak too loud because it's really, really quiet. Um, but all accounts, it's a really nice campsite. Jazz has just been up to the toilet block. And it's like, you know, when you go into a nightclub and they've got all like the designer perfumes and that, and you have to stick two quid for a spray and a lollipop. It's like that, but without the, the guy selling it. 
Um, yeah, she said it's really, really nice. So, happy days. Gem. We are just going to um, bunk down for the night, have a few snacks, and then, yeah, watch a bit of TV. It's been a bit of a hectic day. We started really late, as I've said. Not ideal, but we will try and make up for it tomorrow, if the weather plays ball. So it's the next morning, we're about 18 hours into this Angle Sea expedition. Um, because we were not back on time yesterday, there are a couple of places that anyone who's been to Angle Sea or lives here are probably screaming at me, why didn't you go and visit this place? Why didn't you go and visit that place? It's a great place to come for a weekend, um, especially if you live kind of in the northwest because it's so easy to get to. So we're just gonna go to a few places that I've personally found and like the look of. It'll be another trip to Anglesey to cover the other places, I'm sure. But yeah, um, so we're gonna do a few stops today. Hold up, just letting you know that this video is sponsored by my book, Road Trip Wales, which is the ultimate guide to this immense country. This guidebook has all of the best locations, practical tips and stress saving hacks to ensure your Welsh road trip is simply unforgettable. Each location comes with what three words references and postcodes for easy navigation and the book can be used time and time again as there's so many road trips to do in Wales. With maps, itineraries, hotels and campsites, Road Trip Wales has literally everything you need and is available to buy now on robbyromes.com. So we've done a little bit of exploring around Traif Beach. Unfortunately, the weather's not on our side. Uh, it started spitting and then came like a real drizzle. Um, and it feels a bit colder today. It's saying like 15 degrees on my back. So not the most ideal beach weather. Although there are people in there, um, I don't know what they're doing. A bit of paddle boarding, they've got wetsuits on. Um, but yeah, another charming place um, in dodgy weather like today it does feel a bit raw and rugged exposed cliffs and uh, I would recommend it if the weather's nice I think this could well be a nice uh, beach day spot um, one little thing to note down at the car park um, on the one side there's two car parks there's one over the far side one over the side nearest to the harbour uh, there's a little shack there selling wood-fired pizzas and stuff like that so there you go if you're in the area after a wood-fired pizza you know where to come so we're going to move on to the next place and hopefully the weather brightens up. Can't see it, but we will continue. So we're at our next stop, which is Benlec Beach. And uh, yeah, another pretty good beach on Anglesey. Um, it's just sod's law. I've gone to get the drone out to get some shots. Um, nice, pretty long beach to be honest. Lovely yellowy white sand. Um, and then yeah, the second I put the drone up, like the heavens opened and the raindrops were like the size of golf balls, which was weird. Uh, the weather's not really on our side on this trip, but I think we're just resigned to that. It's still a beautiful place, and like a lot of these beaches, there's so many like rock pools and um, little nooks and crannies that kids are going with their nets and doing a bit of crabbing and finding whatever else they can find. So. Even on a rainy day, if you're out with your kids, these beaches and stuff are really fun. So yeah, we're going to head on. Uh, we're heading further south in Anglesey and we're going to Beaumaris Castle, uh, which is about nine miles from here. Uh, it's saying it's going to take about 20 minutes. So we're going to go there, check that out, and then keep on moving. Like I keep saying on this trip, we're short of time. So we're doing some whistle stop tours, getting some photos and videos, having a little look around, and then moving on to the next place. But if you are coming for 48 hours, if you're coming for a weekend, maybe three nights, um, there is so much to do here. So you can plan a little uh, road trip around Anglesey. Take your time, enjoy some of these places, and hopefully the weather will be nicer than it is today. But hey ho, we're going to move on.
So if you're after a little stop down in southeast part of Anglesey, Beaumaris is a 100% recommended place. There's some really good restaurants down there, uh, little craft shops, and there's one of the oldest uh, buildings in Britain, which dates back to, I think it was like 1400. So yeah, some real old places. Pretty good on a rainy day as well, because obviously there's a load of shops and restaurants you can get out of the rain uh, and go and explore. Just up the road from here, we're gonna go and see the Menai uh, Suspension Bridge, another historical kind of artifact, landmark of Anglesey. Yeah, if you're into history or engineering or anything like that, then come and check this place out. It's the Menai Suspension Bridge. And it was built in 1826, which is crazy. It's almost 200 years old and it's still standing. Uh, and it was actually the first major suspension bridge anywhere in the world, built by Thomas Telford. It's just mental. It's mental that a bridge that kind of old is still carrying all these heavy vehicles. And yeah, uh, it basically links mainland Wales, which is where I'm stood now, to Anglesey, which is back over there. So we've come across the bridge. Uh, you can even walk along it, and you can see the blue sort of waters that are separating mainland Wales and Anglesey. Yeah, beautiful. Uh, it's gotta be one of the most famous landmarks of Anglesey. So come and check it out. Quick update, we're going to actually cut our trip in Anglesey a little bit short. Um, we've got to get back down to Aberystwyth a bit sooner than we'd actually hoped. That's a story for another day. So we've come straight to our main kind of stop. Um, we're going to come here tomorrow morning when the weather's a little bit better. But hey ho, we're here. It's raining, it's miserable, but this place is still beautiful despite all that. So we're at Newborough Forest which is kind of in the southwest of Anglesey. And the main attraction here is, other than the forest, which is beautiful, you can see red squirrels here and stuff like that. The main attraction of this place is Landwin Beach and Landwin Island. Landwin Island has a, a real picturesque um, lighthouse on it that you can walk to. You can get there pretty much all day. You've just got to check the tide times. High tide, I don't think you can get over there. Um, but outside of high tide, you should be fine. And yeah, it's gotta be one of the most iconic places on the whole of Anglesey. The beach is pristine. There's a nice walk that me and Arch are doing down towards the lighthouse now. And yeah, despite the gloomy weather, despite the rain, despite it feeling like it's the middle of winter, even though we're in August, I'm hoping this place is still gonna deliver. What I've seen of it online, it looks amazing. So we're gonna carry on on our little trail, hopefully get a few shots and uh, check it out. Welcome to Landwin or Clanwin if you're Welsh. Um, the tide is not that far off high tide actually, it's on its way out and we've been able to make it. Um, there's a little causeway, so yeah, it's not too bad to be honest. I think at high tide, you might have to wade a bit, but other than that, majority of the time, it's not cut off. Um, so we're right at the bottom of the island, and I didn't realise there's actually two lighthouses. There's one called uh, Twer Back, and one called Twer Moor. And my Welsh is not good here. As you can see, the weather ain't great, but we're going to take a little walk along to see the lighthouses. Despite it feeling like the middle of winter, uh, me and Arch have made it, so we're going to take a little look. We're going to march on and uh, check out the island. <laughs>
Yeah, so I'm just walking back to the van and I've just realized I'm gonna to have to rename the title of this video to 24 hours in Anglesey. We actually got here at like half six yesterday and it's coming up to about half past five now. So it's more or less gonna be 24 hours. We have had to cut it short, but we're gonna stay here tomorrow. Um, my mum's had a bit of a problem with a car down in Aberystwyth, nothing major, but we were heading there tomorrow anyway, so we're gonna to have to cut it short. But I hope you've enjoyed this video. So the main point of this video was um, just to show you that in you know a relatively short amount of time, you can actually see quite a lot. Uh, Anglesey is a great place. I mean, if you come here for a day, if you come here for a couple of days, spend a couple of nights, there's so much to see and do. And yeah, it's not all about traveling for a week or two weeks or a month. Nobody has that sort of time to play with. So I'm gonna actually ask you all a favor. Um, if you've enjoyed this video, hit the like button below because it does help with the YouTube algorithm. And yeah, if you're not a subscriber, please consider subscribing. I'm gonna be making more of these kind of videos. And put in the comments below, did you prefer this shorter type of video or do you prefer like the hour long ones? Um, quite interested to know what people think. And finally, uh, go and follow me on Instagram at Robbie Rome's, and I'll catch you all in the next video.